Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the synchro mesh gear box. So what is this synchro mesh gear box? So synchro mesh gear box it basically consists of the clutch shaft that is the coming from the engine and is the output shaft. The main shaft is going to the transmission. While here it is the lay shaft which is parallel to the main shaft. So here gears U1, U2, U3, U4 they will be standstill at their own position on the lay shaft. There will be no any relative motion. While here, if you see S1 and S2, these are the sliding members on the spline shaft, which will be used to connect the gears of this C, or they will be used to engaging the C to U2, D to U3, and so on. So with the sliding motion of S1 and S3 as a member, they will become in contact with the gears mounted on the main shaft as well as on the lay shaft. And here we will be getting the maximum torque transmission. So here, the only negative point of this synchro mesh is what friction losses is maximum as there are more mechanical elements used for power transmission. So here we will see the animation of synchro mesh gearbox, how the synchro mesh gearbox is working. So in this case, when your gear is neutral, so this output shaft means there will be no any output. The only this input shaft will be rotating and all gears will be having motion. So when gear first, this sliding member will get in contact with this gear so that here if you see which was stationary, this main output shaft was stationary, it will try to now rotate. This is the input shaft is rotating and this is the output shaft. For the gear second, this sliding member is now coming in contact with this gear so that again your output shaft is rotating for the second gear position. Here this member is moving towards the right side. So you will get the second gear position. For the third gear position now here, this sliding S1 member, this is the S2 member, this S1 member is now in contact with this gear so that you will be getting the output motion from the main shaft. And, but there is no any change in position for the gears. The gears they are stationary and rotating there only. For the gear fourth, now direct drive will be get taken from this gear so that the output and this input and output shaft will be having same speed. There will be less torque and maximum speed. And for the first gear, less speed and maximum torque. And for the reverse gear, now these are the idler gears. So you will be having same sense of rotation. Here the output and input will be having same sense of rotation for the reverse gear position. So in this way, the synchromesh gearbox, it works. Thank you.